Hello, my name is Ahmed. I'm a research group leader and principal investigator at Taipei Medical University. I would like to give you a brief overview of our study, Efficient Labeling of Mesenchymal Stem Cells for High Sensitivity Long-Term MRI Monitoring in Live Mice Brains. The use of therapeutic stem cells as an integral component of the emerging field of regenerative medicine requires non-invasive tools to track and monitor such cells in vivo while they do their therapeutic actions. As a part of the research interests of my group, we are concerned with developing treatment and diagnostic strategies for brain diseases such as brain tumors and traumatic injuries. In this study, we used genetically engineered mesenchymal stem cells as a model of therapeutic agent for brain diseases. We developed, characterized, and standardized an efficient and facile labeling strategy for the stem cells with superparamagnetic nanoparticles for magnetic resonance imaging applications, such as monitoring and tracking of cells and evaluation of disease progression. We investigated the labeling efficiencies of several types of nanoparticles at different labeling conditions to determine and optimize the conditions that can achieve the maximum labeling of cells with minimum adverse effects. Our optimized labeling strategy achieved more than 98% labeling of cells with minimum extracellular aggregates. The viability of cells was not reduced by the optimized labeling conditions and the production of neuroprotective protein by the labeled cells was about 91% of that produced by the non-labeled cells. Also, the inherent capabilities of our mesenchymal stem cells to differentiate to the adipogenic and osteogenic lineages were not affected by the optimized labeling conditions. Furthermore, we developed an experimental animal model to monitor and track the labeled stem cells non-invasively and longitudinally in live mice brains using magnetic resonance imaging. For that, we stereotaxically implanted labeled and non-labeled mesenchymal stem cells in mice brains and kept monitoring the cells by magnetic resonance imaging for four weeks. We found that the labeled cells produced strong decay of the signal antennas at very low number of cells that lasted for four weeks. We believe that our data is an addition to the preclinical studies of regenerative medicine, especially those concerned with tracking, determining the dosage and long-term monitoring of therapeutic stem cells. On behalf of all my team members, I would like to thank you for watching this video and invite you to read the full article.